Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to Infinite Limits channel. Uh, I'm a healer, tarot reader, spiritual teacher, and a medium. And today we're going to be taking a deeper dive into consciousness. We're going to be uh, doing a collective reading for all air signs. Um, so that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I hope everybody's having a great day or night or whenever you decide to watch this video. Today is December 18th, and we are going to be doing a collective channeled message for all air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I just want to thank everybody for your likes, comments, subscribes, and your donations. If you feel guided to donate to the channel, there will be a cash app link in the description box below. My email will also be posted down below. Uh, I am open for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading, uh, contact me via email. Um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. messages may or may not resonate with you take what resonates with you and um you know leave whatever else behind okay so um angels angels ancestor spirit guides can we please get a um a channeled message for um our air signs out here <laughs> gang gang Oh, we got, okay, we got a couple here. Um, okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. Um, the King of Pentacles in reverse. And the Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, something's not looking too promising for somebody here. Um, hmm. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. Um... Give me just a minute. Okay, so Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior card. Um, you know, uh, somebody's still standing, uh, standing in their power. Um, somebody is still standing strong. Um, they are a, a, a wounded warrior. Uh, they are like, um, you know, this is somebody who's been through a lot in their life. They've been through a lot of adversity. They've been through a lot of challenges. They've been through a lot of things in their life, but they're still standing. Um, you guys, we see him depicted in this card. He has like a little, um, like microscope or something. He's looking, he's looking out. Um, he's got, you know, one of the wands in his hand is lit on fire like it's a torch so it's somebody who's um you know still lighting the way still their their fire is still lit um they're still standing uh up they're still here um even though they are wounded as you can see it has he has a bandage on uh on his head um he's still he's still in his power uh he's st oh, well i don't know if you could say he's still in his power but he's definitely still still here um you know, then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, you know, this is usually a person. Let's see here. King of Pentacles. Okay, so um 
this could be an older person, uh, male or female. Usually, because uh, it's a king, it usually depicts like a masculine energy, but it doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman. Um, you know, uh, they they could be older. Um, somebody who's not uh, very successful. Um, erratic mood swings, conflict in relationships, blames others for his failures, overreacts to the slightest provocation, repressed anger. Um, so somebody could be dealing with like some repressed anger issues or, or, um, you know, this is just somebody who is very imbalanced. They, they, they don't have their, um, you know, life together and they could have their life together even financially, but like on the inside of them, like they're just very emotionally, um, unstable. Um, three of wands is here. Um, in the upright, the three of wands is waiting for your ships to sail in and the reverse, you're waiting for ships that are never going to come in. So, um, this is like a situation where, um, I guess, you know, maybe what I'm getting here is here, that somebody was planning to put you in a situation like this like they wanted you to think that your ships were not going to sail in um put you in a position um where you would be wounded and that you wouldn't be able to like defend yourself or that you know when your blessings did come in or your good things the, the good things that are owed to you did come in that you wouldn't be open to receiving them because you would be in this wounded energy Okay, we have the Seven of Swords in the upright. <clears throat> Seven of Swords. So, um, this, uh, this card usually, um, represents, like, um, there, there could be, like, many, many different options or choices, um, you know, um, but you gotta choose wisely. This can also, you know, represent somebody getting away with some, something, or, or somebody thinking that they're getting away with something. Um, as you can see in this card, there's, like, this, this door with this eye and, like, the pyramid and this person standing outside, like, it, it almost looks like a temple of some sort. And this person has these swords and they're kind of, like, looking back. Um, in the original tarot card, it's it's usually, like, a guy with swords and he's looking back at, at, at other people. Like, it usually signifies, like, somebody, like, getting away with something or somebody being betrayed in some way. Um... Yeah. Looks like there was some kind of something, something went down here. Somebody could be running away from decisions and problems and responsibilities as well. Can we get further clarification on this spirit, please? Somebody could be hiding away right now. Um, also, somebody uh, could be, like, willingly not seeing the truth of a situation. So, like, somebody could be, like, hiding away or um, they don't even necessarily have to be hiding away. They're just not really hanging out in the public right now. And they're willingly not seeing the truth in a situation. Okay, can we get um, some more clarification for our air signs for December 2022? Okay. This could have something to do with like... Um,
Too many cards. Sorry. Okay, can we get further for clarification on the situation for our air signs right now? Okay, judgment. So... Huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Oh my god. I just I just had this like I just had this like vision uh, like as I was looking at this card um like these people had no idea who they were fucking with kind of energy like <laughs> like this this guy this guy right here is like, what the fuck? Like, like somebody is like super, like surprised. Like, like their, like their face it could be literally like. That's what I'm seeing. Like somebody's face being like, like so surprised. Um, you know that this happened to them, but like you're always gonna be like you know, collective, you guys are always going to be guided and uh, divinely protected, um, you know, in situations and, and people who come against you, um, you know, you'll always get your, you know, you'll, you'll always get, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you know, justice, you'll always, you know, things, what comes around goes around. You know, people say that all the time. I'm sure maybe you even get sick of hearing it, but it's true. You know, it's true. Um, so somebody's get uh, somebody is getting judgment has been called in this situation. Whatever it, it is, what whoever's been coming against you or trying to betray you or take something away, take something from you. I heard somebody who's been trying to take something from you. Damn. Yeah. Well. And don't surprise me no more. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like these people have learned their lesson because this huge angel came down on these motherfuckers and they're like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> they're like they're like in this little machine thing, this little contraption. It looks like a little car or something. But that shit broke down, dude. <laughs> that shit broke down. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh man. All right. Can we get Jeez. Somebody's upset. Someone upset. Someone upset probably just cuz you're happy and just living your life and just like unaffected that you're just unfazed and unbothered by um you know the deception and uh the lies and the trickery and the cheating that uh you know they did in your or, or did around uh did in your life or messed around in your life and it's just like you know um i don't know i've been through a lot so and it was kind of hard to break something that's already been broken you know what i mean and i'm not saying that i'm broken i'm not saying any of you guys are broken i'm just saying it's easier to deal with things when you've already been through a lot of shit you know and I think a lot of people can misunderstand you or misjudge uh, you um, based on your character. And uh, to, they think that you're gullible and naive and that you're stupid. Um, but you're not. And, uh, you know. Okay, can we get, get further clarification on this judgment, the seven of swords, the situation for all air signs? Sorry, guys. All right, let's get a card. Let's go. Okay, we got one. Okay, 
Okay, we have the Hierophant in reverse. Um, I mean, this could, like, usually in the upright, the Hierophant is, like, somebody who takes the moral high road. It's somebody in a position of authority and, uh, you know, uh, somebody who's higher up. Um, somebody who, um, you know, it, it could, it could be a priest or a pastor or, like, somebody who's in a spiritual, uh, leadership position. Um, in the reverse, this is somebody who is, um, you know, the opposite of that. Um, somebody who's not very spiritual, somebody who is like, or, or they play a spiritual role, but they're really not like that. They really don't believe in that. They just use it to their advantage. They just take advantage of people through their trickery and through their lies and deception of playing a spiritual person, but they aren't really a spiritual per person and they don't really live by, uh, universal principles or laws. That's what I'm getting. So I feel like maybe, you know, judgment's coming down on people like that who are in positions of like these spiritual leadership positions who aren't really like, like that. Um, we got the two of pentacles. So definitely like a, a balancing act, something to do with balance. Um, attempting to balance something out, attempting, you know. Something could be coming in for you, you know? Huh. Yeah, someone's trying real hard. Someone, Someone's putting in the effort here. Like, I can feel the heat. I can feel like somebody, somebody really wants to... Someone's trying, you know, the lovers. So definitely, there's some kind of love relationship here. Um... It could be a choice in love between two people, or it could have been a choice in love between two people. Like, if somebody really wants a commitment with you, they're attempting to gain balance in a situation or attempting to gain balance in their life so that they can have, um, this lover situation with you. Um, judgment was called down upon certain people who are coming between a connection, possibly. Or when it comes to somebody trying to steal something from you. Take something from you. It, it definitely backfired on these people. Uh, but you're going to be getting... Yeah, you're going to be getting victory. Boom. Six of Wands. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Um, yeah, <laughs> I get a good feeling from this card right here. This is going to be cool. Uh, King of Wands, you're definitely, um, you're going to be, you're going to be victorious. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, the King of Wands is uh it could um this person could be very um attractive, handsome, um, you know, charming, charismatic. Uh, usually indicates an older person, but it doesn't have to be like a more mature man um, or male. Um, it could be a woman, though, too. Um, you know, you can reverse the roles, you know, take it as it resonates with you. Um, you know, this person attracts a lot of attention. Um, attractive, you know, fiery, passionate, um, charismatic. Um, but yeah, you're going to be getting victory here. This is the outcome for you in this situation. Um, even though you went through a lot of stuff, it, there was a lot of deception. It looks like there was some betrayal and trickery. Um, there was some, there's a fake spiritualist in your midst. Um, you know, you've been wounded. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of trials. You've been through a lot. Like I can feel that. I know that, um, you know, you spent a lot of time waiting for things to come in for you and you thought they may never come in. You really, at one point, began to lose hope that 
things would work out for you and that your ships would ever sail in but um what looks like here is that judgment was called on this situation uh you are going to be in some kind of lover's situation somebody's working really hard to come towards you um or to to get on some kind of level um and you're going to have victory king of wands um all right so let's get some clarification on this going to take a chunk and then we'll just okay let's see what we got here let's give it one more Spirit, what do we got? Can you give us some, um, someone's fake, fake as fuck, something about legal issues, someone's being fake, uh, uh, the spirit says you're free, I'm free, woohoo, and they're big mad because you're free, oh no, <laughs> Watch out, hide your kids, hide your wife. Duh. <laughs> I was like, get out of here. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, king or queen energy. You could like be in this energy right now, or um, maybe this is something you're going towards. Like, is this king and queen energy with your lover? Jupiter could be significant. Hmm. Friend. Maybe this friend is big mad, or maybe you're, you're making a new friend. And uh, sexual fantasies. Someone could be having sexual fantasies about you. Um, damn. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. Someone's bald. Maybe this bald person is big mad or something. I don't know. Investments. Someone had investments in this situation. This alpha male. Uh-oh, someone messed with this dude's investments. This magician or a magician doesn't have to be a negative thing. Could just be, um, you know, someone who knows how to manifest in the proper way. Or it could be like, you know, everybody does things different ways. But um, something about a doctor, a magician, a doctor, an ex-lover. Something to do with this doctor and an ex-lover. A uh, curse breaker. You could be a curse breaker or something. And you could have broke this curse in, uh, which uh, that had something to do with this ex-lover of yours. Because you're high vibrational. That's why you're a curse breaker. Or you're able to break curses. Something about good pussy. Like maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Someone's making a comeback in their life. Short hair. Someone could have short hair. Is an alchemist. Someone's an alchemist up in her. And a journey. Something to do with a journey. Someone's been on a long journey. I can tell. Interdimensional. You could feel like you're interdimensional. Like you travel between worlds or something. I know I feel that way sometimes. <laughs> I know I ain't from here. <laughs> That's for sure. I wouldn't be on here talking to you guys. <laughs> Insurance fraud. Someone could be involved in some kind of scam or insurance fraud. Someone's traditional and old-fashioned. I know I am, you know. Uh, some people are just old school. It's the way we are, you know. It's Things are going in your favor. That's what Spirit says. Uh, whoever's traditional or old-fashioned. Um, because you spoke the truth. You, sp you speak the truth. You're a truth speaker. Um, if you're anything like me and you're watching these videos and you support me, then you most likely are a truth speaker. 
um somebody had some kind of premonition maybe you did or somebody close to you did that's maybe why this is going in your favor because somebody may have had some kind of premonition about you domination somebody wanted to dominate you Ooh, hex with hexes and curses <laughs> uh, but the truth has been revealed the truth has been revealed that birds of <laughs> birds of a feather flock together so something to do with a divine counterpart and the planet Saturn. Hmm. Green eyes. Divine counterpart Saturn and green eyes. Ocean or beach. You could be taking a trip to the ocean or beach with a divine counterpart. Someone with green eyes. Uranus. The planet Uranus could be significant as well to you or this person. Someone feels like they epic failed or epically failed at something or and uh, spirit saying fall back probably to these people wasting time. Somebody's out there wasting time jail. Somebody could be going to jail as a result of this sage your space. So you may need to like sage your space. Um, somebody has a mental disorder, possibly, um, and is pro-choice. Brother. And Jesus. Big bro. Well, Jesus is here. Uh, Jesus is here in regards to this false twin flame. 777. Seven, seven. You could be seeing this number a lot, or this could be significant to you. Um, you know, my nose is itching a lot, so um, it could be, I don't know, I I feel like anytime, like, my nose is itching, or, like, it usually has something to do with, like, like sexual stuff. So, a hunter, someone's, like, a hunter or something, could be hunting you down. Jeez. Uh, this Leo. And something to do with Grays. Maybe you um, believe in aliens or something, or that's something significant to you, or, or um, you know, whatever. Take it as it resonates, I guess. Runner, chaser, dynamic. Uh, mirroring each other. Talking shit. Someone that you're mirroring, that you have a runner, chaser, dynamic with, is talking shit. Probably hanging out with... These people who claim to have some connection to greys or something. Uh, spiritual warfare. Um, you should, you could be going through spiritual warfare or something. And it has a lot to do with Mercury. I know, I think Mercury is in retrograde. A lot of these planets are going retrograde right now. So that could be why a lot of us are experiencing a lot of bullshit right now. Um, someone has a beard. And they don't want no smoke. Well, if you didn't want no smoke. Shouldn't have took the boat. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Please wait for me. Oh my god, please wait for me. <laughs> the book of life. You know, this was all predetermined. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of people who would disagree with that. Um, you know, that things are predetermined and all this stuff because we all have free will, and obviously, we're gonna choose what we want. We don't, you know, um. But there are certain things in our life that are destined for us, that are for us. But we have to choose it. We have to want it. We have to go after it. So there are some things that are destined in life, you know, that are written. Some things are just written. They are written. And if you want it bad enough, then it's yours. Take it. Take that shit. Take that shit. Take that shit. Take that energy. Take that shit. Take that shit. Take that shit. Take that shit. enemies have been slain because this is a this is this is destiny it's um you know fate um this was meant to be man people can't take away from you what is rightfully yours and if you tell god that you know you want it he'll give it to you somebody has red hair 
and something to do with the doorway. All right. So um, that's your message for today, air uh, air signs. Um, <coughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I hope you guys got what you needed out of this message. I just want to thank you guys so much for your support, for you know your comments, your likes, subscribes. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well, and um, I'm just gonna keep pumping these videos out, and um, I hope they're helping you guys. Um, it's definitely helping me I love doing this so I'm gonna keep doing it um you know this is my work for now until you know until I figure something out but um yeah thank you for your donations thank you for your kindness thank you for your love peace gang gang <laughs>